Afternoon countdown is everywhere. I do like the curtain rings. Do you like <laughs> <laughs> very big curtains. Very, it's very 60s, this, you see. Do you remember, girls, when they used to wear with the white uh, uh, patent leather boots? Yeah. It just came almost yeah. up to the knee, didn't they? And then... <laughs> they're, they're steady, oh, girl. They are very nice, Carol. Nice <laughs> to see you in a frisky mood today. <laughs> uh, right, here's a... Um, Kath and Len seem to be sending more emails than anybody, and they, they send them from Spain, so thank you, Kath and Len. Now, a man walks into a restaurant with a full-grown ostrich behind him. And he... <laughs> <laughs> like you do. <laughs> like you do. Hey, was that wearing white patent leather boots? <laughs> no, he wasn't. He had no curtain rings, just a straight ostrich. Right? <laughs> and he sits down. The waitress comes over and asks for their order. The man says, I'll have a hamburger, chips and a Coke, and turns to the ostrich, what's yours? <laughs> He says, I'll have the same, says the ostrich. This is stupid, isn't it? A short time later, the waitress returns to the order. That will be £10.50, please. And the man reaches into his pocket and pulls out the exact change for payment. <clears throat> The next day, the man and the ostrich come in again. He says, I'll have hamburger, chips and a Coke. The ostrich says, I'll have the same. <laughs> Once again, the man races into his pocket and pays with the exact change. This becomes a routine until late one evening, they enter again. Yeah, the man and the ostrich. Yes. In the boots. Usual, ask the wait waitress, no, this is Friday night, he says. So I'll have a steak, baked potatoes and salad. And uh, the ostrich says, same for me. A short time later, the waitress comes with the order, and that will be £25.52. pence. Once again, the man pulls the exact change out of his pocket and places it on the table. Yeah. The waitress can't hold back her curiosity. Excuse me. How do you manage to always come up with the exact change out of your pocket every time? Well, several years ago, I was cleaning the attic. I found an old lamp. When I rubbed it, I popped a genie, offered me two wishes. My first wish was that if I ever had to pay for anything, I would have... Just put my hand in my pocket and the right amount of change oh, that's a good would wish. always be there. Yeah. It's good, this, isn't it? Yeah. It's practically a book, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant, said the waitress. Most people would wish for a million dollars or something, but you'll always be as rich as you want for as long as Clever. you live. That's right. Whether it's a gallon of milk or a Rolls Royce, the exact money is always there, says the man. Though he said, just one thing, sir. What's with the ostrich? The man sighs, pauses and answers, my second wish was, was for a tall chick with long legs who agrees with everything I say. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, you two in Spain. A little shorter next time. That's practically half the programme gone. <laughs> right, let's have a look at our play. We know David now. David, this is his fifth show today, isn't it? Fifth show? Fifth show, so yeah. You're on your way towards, upwards towards the Octo Champ. You've got to beat this young lady. And this is Hazel Wheeler, and from Wolverhampton in the West Midlands. Originally, you were a, a Dagenham girl, Essex Dagenham girl. Dagenham girl, Essex girl, that's me, yep. Did you ever wear the white court shoes? Um, I had the white patent leather boots when <laughs> I used to go to 60s weekends. Yeah. <laughs> and you dance around your handbag? Oh, I've been accused of that before, yep. Yeah, <laughs> and you're wearing, the earrings you're wearing are from my belt, yes. aren't they? Yeah, they're slightly different colour. Yeah, <laughs> it's all mad today, isn't it? It's all mad. <clears throat> it's nice to have you here. We wish you both luck today. That's Hazel and David playing our game today. Well, he is in fact one of the uh, longest-serving incumbents of Dictionary Corner. Yes, he joined us in 1995 <laughs> on his 65th birthday, which was lovely of him, and he's been with us ever since. Yes, sitting next to uh, the lovely Alison Hurd, please welcome the Dictionary Daddy of them all, Richard Dytons. <laughs> We've got a nickname for you now. Dicky Digents. Dicky Digents, yeah. we call you. Really? Well, I've called him worse. <laughs> <laughs> Believe yeah. me. All right, let's play the game, shall we? So, David, you're going to start with the first set of letters, please. Um, hello, Carol. Uh, Hi, vial, please. A vowel. Right, we start then, both of you, with E. Um, vial. O. And a third vial. And I. Consonant. J. Consonant. D. Um, consonant. Y. Consonant. H. Um, <coughs> another consonant, please. F. Ooh. And uh, I'll finish with a consonant. And that is S. And here's the first clock.
right. How do we start there, David? A six. Six. And you, Hazel? Six. Six. Let's ladies go first. Fished. Fished. Yep. Oh, Arlo, similar. both fished. All right. Yeah, well, you started, so I'm yep, sure that's good. correct. And what have you got there, young Richard? Your missus is in them letters, isn't she? Jodies. I looked at that as well. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is Jodies. Yeah, yeah, well spotted, well spotted. Yeah. What else have you got? Uh, uh, little Joeys and the little kangaroos, but that's only five. Mm. Yeah, all right. Well, we've got a level pegging start here. Both our players got six points on the board. So, Hazel, it's your turn now with the letters. Um, I'll have a consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, Hazel. T. And a vowel, please. O. And another vowel? A. And another vowel, please? U. And a consonant? C. And another one, please? G. And another vowel, please? E. And a consonant? D. And another consonant, please? And R. Right, here's a clock. How did we go there? Uh, seven. Seven, that's good. And uh, David? Eight. Eight. Oh, right. Let's have the seven then. Grouted. Grouted, yes. And the eight? Educator. Educator. Yeah. One oh, that's a very good one. Very good. <clears throat> Two good words. Two good words from our players. What have we got over there then? Is there another eight? <clears throat> there is actually, yeah. We could have had outraced. Outraced. Outraced is a run good. faster than someone else. Right, we're all scoring good points uh, right away. Uh, we're going to ask David this time to um, pick some letters, if you would, David. Um, uh, can I have a vial, please? Thank you, David. I. Um, another vial. E. Um, vial. A. Consonant, please. M. Consonant. P. Um, consonant. B. Mm, another consonant, please. S. Um, Consonant? N. And a final consonant? And B. And here's a clock. Six. Just six that time, and Hazel? Five. Five, not easy this lot. Let's have the five. Basin. Basin, yes, and the six. Babies. Babies, yeah. yeah fine. So, anything from the corner, anything else? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm sure you could come up with something. No, we so we've struggled with this one, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, we, we did find another six, which is Pie Man. Pie Man. Yeah, Ryan David's got 20, Hazel's got six, and Hazel is going to choose these letters. 